G'day guys and girls, it's Jake here. Today I'm going to be showing you through one of the new features in Microsoft Office 365 called Microsoft Connections. Now what it is, is it's a EDM platform basically. So it's a way that you can send out um, newsletters, like email newsletters. So it allows people to unsubscribe, and also to receive the letters. So you can just build your list up, put it into Office 365, and use it like another service like MailChimp, for example. MailChimp does the same thing, sends out email newsletters, but this just means it's part of your Office 365 subscription. So at the moment, it is only available with Microsoft Office 365 Business Premium users, and it's also only available inside of the US, the UK, and Canada. So if you're outside of those areas, it's not rolled out yet, but I'm assuming down the track, they're gonna roll it out to everyone. At the moment, it's not on the um, roadmap yet, when it's gonna get rolled out, but in the future, it will. So if your tenant's in like where my tenant, my default real tenant is in Australia, um, I've got a test tenant right at the moment in the US, which allows me to use this, but yeah. Um, it's available in the US. So yeah, you can see down here, we've got, you know, drive more sales with simple email marketing tools. So let's go to the Office Business Center. To get to that, if you've got an eligible Office Business Premium subscription, you will just go to businesscenter.office.com slash home slash invoicing, or you can just go off, if we just go to the Business Center, so just go to businesscenter.office.com. It'll log you in, take you to the home page. Then over here, we can click connections. So in here, we can see our active campaigns. So you can see the most recent campaign I've just called, yep, it went to one contact. One contact. Um, it's an announcement and you can see there that it's sent. We can see this sample referral request is in draft mode. And um, you can see here that it's been sent to one person, opened by one person, and one person's clicked the link. So to start a new campaign, up the top right-hand corner, there is the new campaign button. If we click that, we can click a new campaign, or we can add it to an existing campaign or drafts. So at the moment, we're going to create a new. So from here, you can make an announcement, ask for a referral, or send a newsletter. Today, I'm going to ask for a referral. All this really means is it's going to um, send out a templated email with a refer to friends to get 10% off or a custom offer or no reward. We're going to go 10% off. Customers who refer a friend, so not only does the friend get 10% off, but the customer also gets 10% off their next purchase. Um, offer expires, we just select the date expires. I'm going to say the end of the month. You can also specify the terms and conditions. Tease and C's. So you could add in a bunch of terms and conditions there if you want to. And we'll just go save. And now you can see this just generates an automatic template. So it's nice and easy. It's already created for you. It says, help us grow, gives 10% off and get 10% off. So not only are you giving somebody else 10% off, but you're also going to get 10% off on your next one. And we can see this refer your friends. We can edit this stuff and change the colors. So let's say that we've just changed our accent colors. We can share the link there and the referral URLs there. So if we want to edit the offer, you could edit it there. We could make this 15% if you wanted and it'll automatically update this offer. See, it says hi, first name. That's going to get it out of your contact list, which I'll show you in a moment. So now if we save and continue. It's not letting us do it, or is it?
Oh, it's saying no logo. See how that exclamation mark wouldn't let us go because it's got a big exclamation mark there. I'll just edit this. Please provide your business logo. Edit my brand. And I'm just going to give it a color. So you can add your logo in there, but obviously this is just mucking around. Provide your logo. It's still not letting me do it. Let's upload a logo. That'll do the trick. That's better. Now we should be able to save and continue. That's looking a lot better. Now, email one of three. When you're when you send a request for referrals, there are three types of emails that are sent out. The first is the email that you created, which will be sent straight away as soon as you say click. The next one, when they've referred someone. So this is just the offer. Once you've referred someone, they'll get this email. Okay. So you can see here's the first email there. If we click this arrow, it's not going to let us go. Let's edit this, save. Let's send the campaign. Oh. Uh, go back. Here we go. We'll just send this to myself. Now let's hit send campaign. See how this is underlined? It says the underlined email address. Please provide a subject. Uh, camp. Give it a subject name. We'll add me as a contact. We've got our subject name in there. Now we can send the campaign. So now we see the recent campaign has been sent to zero. If we refresh this, should come up saying it has been sent to one. So now if I open Outlook in here, open Outlook here. So here's our campaign that we've just got. It said we've blocked some content. So let's enable the content. Doesn't seem to like that picture for some reason. Anyway, there's our campaign. And here's our referral ID. So if I go to that, we'll see now we can refer a friend. So if I go Jake G at that email address, Oh, that mail address has already been subscribed. So if I just subscribe up this email, the email address has already been subscribed as well. We'll subscribe this person up.
cool. So now they've sent a confirmation email, which I've just got on my phone. So I won't actually do anything with that yet. In here, if we refresh that, we should now see that this email has been opened, as you can see there. Now, if I confirm that this is me on my phone, which you can't see, inside of our contacts, we should have our new contact. There's the new contact, as you can see. So if I go back to connections, and we'll check our camp campaign. We've had one sign up. As you can see, there's the new sign up. We can add some information about that contact if we wanted to. You can add all this stuff in. So now if we go back to this campaign and see who signed up, I'll click that. No stuff yet. That'll refresh as time goes on. But yeah, you can see we've had one referral, one contact has been sent for that one, which is good. So we can also use it just for normal um, newsletters. So we can write a newsletter. We can add in different sections. We've already got all the sections here. So I could add in some stuff here. Upload that. As you can see, that image has come here. We can set up a button for him to click. As you can see, there's now a button. Add in some news. So this is a good little way to just, you know, get your mailing list going if you have monthly newsletter or something you want to send out. It's a nice, easy tool that's integrated into Office 365 that you can use as your EDM or you can use to, you know, try and generate leads and customers. So then you just do the same thing, enter the people you want it sent to, enter the subject line, and she's all good. So if I went, you can see I'll start typing the names, and there they are. I'm not actually going to send that campaign today. But yeah, we've also got make an announcement. If you already had the campaign to send to people, so like here's our camp campaign. We can go in, edit it, and do it again. So yeah, that was a quick look at Microsoft Connections. If you have a business premium account inside of the US, UK, or Canada, you can give it a go. If not, if you want to test it out, just create a trial. You get a free one for 30 days and just select US while you're doing it. That's all I've done. Um, you can also... Just wait until it gets rolled out to yours if you're in another country, I guess. Anyway, don't forget, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I will talk to you later.